uh, I was in Waikiki living there for about a month and a half. And uh, I hadn't seen anybody I knew in that whole time. And one day I'm walking home from work uh, to my house and there in the traffic, all these cars are stopped. Joey, Joey, I look and there's Tom, Marsha and the kids. And I was just blown away to see him. And uh, Tom's like, what are you doing? I go, well, my house is right over there and I'm just coming home from work. What are you guys doing? And he says, we're going to Kona. We, we're moving to Kona and uh, we're just here for the day. So that's wow. like crazy fate to me. Absolutely. But Tom says, well, hey, we're moving to Kona and, you know, sometime come on over and you can stay with us for a while. And I'm like, well, okay, I'm, I'm here on Oahu right now. But um, about a month or two later, I did actually call him up and talk. And uh, I went over there and we even shipped my motorcycle over there. And Tom opened his house to me. He says, wow. come on in and, and stay for a month or two, you know? So it was awesome. And wow. the house was spectacular. To live with Tom and his kids was really something special. Uh, Tom had a lab, had like a lab underneath. It was Thomas, Tom's secret inventions of everything that came to his mind. And he had a, a blackboard that had things I want to do, things I need to do, and things I must do. And he, that was how he would try to organize his thoughts and how he worked. But he had infinite ideas and it was unbelievable it was like living with thomas edison he's crazy yeah. all the inventions tom had that's awesome well you know i heard that uh over the years that people have always called you Wyamea gibbs but i didn't really actually know what that meant so tell us that story <laughs> well that includes tom too <laughs> and that's what i mean i heard it was like <laughs> yeah uh, i i in 70, it was 77, there was a Maury contest and Tom rented a house for the team and we stayed in the house on the North Shore and the very first morning we were there, it was giant, out of control and he says, well, let's go check out the bay. So <laughs> we drove to Waimea Bay and Tom's looking at it and we had Dale Dobson with us as this surfer and Dale was supposed to surf the Doyles, but he looked at it. He's like, I'm not going out there. And Tom's like, well, I could go out there. Joey, come on, let's do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so Tom's like 40 years old and I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, well, we'll just paddle to the shoulder and, you know, we'll work our way in. We'll, we'll just start at the shoulder and work our way in. So within an hour or so, I look over and Tom's deeper than everybody. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Wow. Sure enough, a set wave came and Tom scrambling, trying to get over this thing. And he, he's not going to make it. And I'm just like, oh, this is bad. This is bad. And Tom bails the board and the thing gets caught on the lip. And just as it's tossing out the offshore winds and the leash straining, blows it back over. And Tom grabs the board and paddles on over. And I'm like, well, he made that one at least. But I <laughs> We caught a couple of waves, and uh, I caught a couple of waves, and Tony Prince got some photos of me riding Waimea. I think he might have had some of Tom, but I, I've got the photos of me. Uh-huh. And that's where you got the name Waimea Gibbs that day? Yeah, it was more like Waimea. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, you know, what a what an awesome story to be able to say I was out in Hawaii and Big Surf and Tom Morris. So I want to thank you, Joy. We've got so many people like you that we're going to, uh, you know, tap into their, their memories and, and all that. And so I really want to thank you for taking some time with us today. And of course you and I both and many of the people worldwide will never, ever, you know, there's no way ever they could forget Tom Morris. So thank you once uh, again. Tom, Tom's my hero. That's right. He's, I think he's a lot of people's heroes. So thank you once again. And right. uh, for those of you that are listening, we're going to uh, be tapping into the legends of the sport, riders of the sport, uh, as we go into finishing off this 50th year celebration of uh, Tom Moore's invention. And uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned and we'll, we'll get a hold of you to hear your story. 
once again, thanks again, Joey. Send her out.